Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to Coins on the Moon, where we only talk about coins that belong on the moon. I'm Brady Malone, your host. Definitely don't forget to click that subscribe button to stay in tune in the moment. And fam, starting off with the news right away. I guess Russian Prime Minister will never consider Bitcoin legal. Look at that face right there. Guys, that guy can ride a bear. List. Anyways, um, that's really not a big deal in the market. So I don't even know why I started off with that. But guys, we always look at the news coming up first. Um, Roger, Roger Ver. Let me let me pull this story. Roger Ver's Twitter today. Loading. Fucking it. Bitcoin Cash is not an offshoot of Bitcoin. It's the original Bitcoin. Roger Ver says Bitcoin Cash is the real Bitcoin. This is a bunch of market fraud, if you ask me. Look at that face. Look at that guy. Fucking chill. I guess Bitcoin volume is going down. What? But guys, the price is only going up. The price is only going up though. If you look at that chart, it's only going up. Now it looks like it's actually tapering off here a little bit. I don't know. Um, maybe like the TA red go up, but the volume just didn't go up. I don't know, but guys, we're gonna have to keep watching this. It, it's fine if Bitcoin goes down. I think it, it went up a little bit too fast. So let's look at the market overall today, guys. It is phenomenal. It is the November 20th already. And wow, just look at that top 10. Bitcoin up 1.88%. Ethereum is on a fucking bull run. What is Ethereum doing over here? Guys, I pulled mostly out of Ethereum last weekend when that whole Bitcoin shock happened with Bitcoin Cash and I feel bad. I don't know guys, just gotta be honest, I make bad calls sometimes. Look at the USD value. We're hitting those all time highs again. We might triple top. Guys, I owed I was talking about this like last week. I didn't say to put any money in, I was just waiting for it to come back up and it looks like it's going finally. Almost a dollar. It's gonna be good. Um, Ethereum Classic is doing pretty solid. Guys, that's about it for the top like 10, 15 and whatever. Um, this I ICO just dropped all of its coins on Bitrix. Look at this hell of a fucking bull run. Probably the last time to get Bitcoin below, um, definitely below 7,500 right here. I don't think we'll ever see that again. Going forward, I mean, Bitcoin is going to hit that parabolic growth. It doesn't look like anybody wants to sell up here. You know what though? We can stop Bitcoin for a little bit at 8,200. Maybe we'll just slow down before Thanksgiving happens in America and we can relax for a little bit and then after we'll go right back to the bull race. I don't know. I hope I hope we get a pull back to like 8,000 again. And we can just sit in the 8,000 range hovering between this and that. Anyways, guys, it's it's going straight up to the moon. We we already know BTC belongs on the moon. So that's why we talk about it all the time. And last but not least, what I mentioned earlier, power ledger. Bam. Power. This coin. Oh, man, I don't I don't know. I put so much into it. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, it was probably one of the better calls that I made. It's sitting at 67 cents right now. Actually, I should probably log in. <sighs> it's it's just been awesome. I would definitely watch this. This is probably like a ten dollar coin. Elon Musk was talking about it like last week. Um they just got a nine million dollar grant from the Australian government. Pretty solid tech. If we look at the uh high gainers today, power ledger's actually number one. We're right where it should be. Maybe it's just the solar coins in general. Maybe I shouldn't put that much faith in the power ledger. My voice just cracks so much. I need some water. Solar coin though, also having a hell of a day. It looks the same actually as power ledger. So maybe this will keep going. Look at the volume though. So it's the end of this run. A hell of a fucking market. So when Bitcoin goes up, every everybody just kind of goes along with it. Neo, that ended up actually being FUD. So as you can see the kind of a dip here although it looks like volume came back in so maybe maybe neo is not dead for the count but just look at this fucking run up this weekend guys again i'm sorry i, make, I didn't make any videos my dog was actually needing to be watched my doge and you know you need to watch your doge <coughs> whoa i just heard like the weirdest sound effect just looking at like a 50 percent pullback if you guys always want to check that you go over the tools fibonacci and it's actually the Fibonacci retracement tool. So what you do is go all the way up to the top here, go all the way back down to the bottom here, and you can check your percentage. Actually, it looks like we got a little bit more of a pullback, but if you, if you really watch these charts, guys, 
cryptocurrency is very easy to read. They're a lot like stocks and stuff. I think they're a little bit easier. Honestly, on power, you can go back and forth all day if you wanted to. You can honestly trade and short these all day. You, you kind of know the levels that they're going to be at. Look at this though. It almost goes like perfect unison. So 38%. And look at that hovering right around it. You get a stop. You get another stop. You get another stop. So looking at this, the so 50%, you got some consolidation. You got some sell off. You got another consolidation point. And if you look down around 61%, 61.8, which would be a 38 run up if you were doing this the other way. Actually, we can reverse this run up if you guys want to. So from the bottom to the top, you could do it the same way. Just something to uh, keep in mind. The 61% run up. You got some, got some tension. You got some more tension. You got some more block. It comes down below, it stays up above, you know. Very, very typical. So it's pretty easy to read these. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, guys. Um, Fibonacci retracement, one of the most helpful tools you can use as a trader if you're gonna trade daily. Now, guys, I, I don't recommend swing trading every day. I, I think you'd run out of steam pretty quick. Um, just out of whatever is going on in your head. I don't know, you need to sleep. Definitely, this is a sleepless market. You definitely need to go to bed sometimes, unfortunately. I hate it too, but I don't know, guys. If I had to pick a, a coin to stay in for probably the rest of the week, it would be power. I think this is gonna be like a two or three dollar coin by the end of maybe next week, next month. And I don't, I got in early. I got in at like 15 cents. I wanna say it's one of my better trades. I've made over the last month, that's for sure. We've had like a bear market. We've had like a sideways market kind of for the altcoins. So this Bitcoin rally will really help the altcoins shine as well. And a lot of people have been saying, oh, like Bitcoin's going to stop and then the altcoins are going to come up. So maybe that will happen. If it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter. If you just have money anywhere in this market and just hold, hodl that shit, you're probably going to do pretty well. Coins that belong in the moon. I'm Brady Malone, your host, always talking about coins. The belong on the moon. I'm not a financial advisor, but definitely hodl your Bitcoin. You guys have a great rest of your week because I probably won't be around to be honest. I got some family stuff to go do and I'm really excited to go have Thanksgiving turkey in this year. Guys, I won't tell you where, but you know what? Peace out and oh my gosh, stay positive.